Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is me, Miss Aisha Manzoor, and you are watching my channel, Chemistry Solutions. So today we are going to discuss about the methods of extracting metals. What does it mean, methods of extracting metals? As we know that the very reactive metals found as a compound. So if a very reactive metal is found as a compound like K2O, so how can we extract this potassium metal from this oxygen? Or if we have a compound of aluminium like Al2O3 aluminium oxide, so how can we get this aluminium out from this oxygen? So we have to extract this aluminium from this compound. So if we are going to extract this aluminium from a compound is called as the extraction of metal. So uh, found as compounds have formed very strong bonds. This aluminium is going to form a bond with oxygen which will be very strong. Cannot, we cannot be separated by introducing any uh, reducing agent in it. But the point is this that how we are going to extract this metal from this compound. So electrolytic reduction is the process that we are going to provide electrolysis uh, process to it in the electrolysis process. Reduction will take place, this oxygen will come out and aluminium will be taken as, a, as an extracted metal. So till aluminium, till this uh, aluminium metal, all the above most reactive metals cannot be separated from its compounds easily. So we have to provide an electricity to decompose this compound. So electrolytic reduction is the process which we will apply in order to extract these metals from their compounds. For the least reactive metals, these metals from zinc to copper found as oxides or sulfides. Oxides are heated with carbon to obtain the metal. So this uh, reaction, I would like to explain it with the chemical reactions. Uh, gold, where is Au, is present, found as, unco as uncombined as the element. So gold is not present as a compound, is found as an element. We can collect it like this. Now we are going to discuss about the reactions. So here are the reactions which tell us how hydrogen is act as a reducing agent to take this oxygen from lead and lead will be extracted as a metal over here. So same zinc oxide will also react with this hydrogen molecule and hydrogen will take on this uh, oxygen but here this reaction will not take place. Zinc oxide not show, is, is not going to show us this reaction so hydrogen is not going to be used as a reducing agent for zinc oxide. The rest of all these reactive metals will be extracted, metal oxides will be extracted by using hydrogen except zinc oxide. Now copper oxide will be, uh, uh, copper will be extracted from copper oxide when hydrogen will react with this oxygen to give us copper metal and water as a liquid. Now further as we move ahead, we can see reaction of metallic oxides with carbon. Carbon is a strong reducing agent. So zinc oxide, if it doesn't react with hydrogen, it reacts with carbon. So carbon as a reducing agent will take this oxygen and form carbon monoxide and zinc will be extracted from this zinc oxide compound. Similarly, copper oxide again reacts with the reducing agent carbon. It takes the carbon as a carbon dioxide and copper will be extracted from copper oxide. So this is the way through which carbon is going to take the oxygen from the metal oxides of least reactive metals. Iron oxide can be at very high temperature reacts with the iron oxide. So carbon will take oxygen to form carbon dioxide or iron or carbon in the presence of oxygen will form carbon monoxide. This carbon monoxide is a reducing agent reacts with this oxygen to form carbon dioxide and the iron metal will be extracted. So this is all about our extraction of metals. If we will discuss all of the metals here, so we should remember that the highly reactive metals will be, the compounds of highly reactive metals will be decomposed by electrolysis and the rest of the least reactive metals will be reacted with the carbon or hydrogen except zinc. 
so this is the end of this chapter uh, this topic that is the extraction of metals methods in which we have discussed how we can extract it so this is end of this methods of extracting metals in which we have learned that how highly reactive metals can be extracted through electrolysis and the, how the least reactive metals reacts with hydrogen and reacts with carbon as a reducing agent so this is the way through which we have learned it i hope so that we have learned it very well consistency is the key of success signing off miss aisha manzoor